This is video number five in the Superflex silicon lure molding system series that uh, in this one we're going to actually cover uh, two of the molds that I make for the jelly worm type uh, lures that uh, are very popular for Pollock. Um, the Devil Tail one produced some good bass last year out on test on the Portland races. The large one I call the Jumbo for the simple reason it is a very big worm in comparison to most that are on the market. The concept of this design effectively was uh, the proven curl tail with a thick body that you can actually cut down in size. So you've got one size worm that you can use full length or alternatively simply take a pen knife cutting uh, scissors and you can just trim those down in between the actual balls on the uh, design itself and cut it right down as far as that if you wish and you can produce uh, a short uh, worm with a curl tail uh, if you're finding that uh, the pollock for example are nipping uh, and you're not catching because the hook is right up here you can shorten it, reduce it down to what you want another concept in the design is the fact that uh, due to the moulding principle you're always going to have a flat part on any of these it's not a full round like it would be in a vacuum forming system uh, so but that's a bit of an advantage really because you can either fish it with the round side down and it tends to roll a little bit which will obviously add uh, a slightly different action with the curl tail uh, alternatively you can hook it so the hook is coming out through the top and fish the flat down which will give you a more uh, steady uh, type of uh, swimming action uh, and not roll so much so not only can you cut it down in size but you can fish it two ways so it's a very very flexible system in that sense the range of colors as you can see they're all pretty standard rhubarb and custard uh, that's popular uh, or you can call that a yellow fire tail if you want uh, bubblegum pink uh, like a lot of my other lures is becoming a fast catching colour and it uh, is very popular for the cod uh, orange tails blue and white combination that you can change round you can have blue tails white body uh, fire tails pearl body uh, the pearl colour itself that is the actual colour of the uh, Superflex silicon. That's had no colour added to it, so it's exactly like that. So, but basically, you can use it straight out of the can uh, and just colour your uh, your tails to what you want. So, if you need a larger worm, stronger worm, uh, the other thing with the actual design of the mould, the pin, which is basically is just an ordinary nail, uh, that you can adjust and you can actually mould it so the lure itself has got facilities obviously just to get the jig head and straight in and then you're away straight into the center and then just thread it around uh, and what I normally do a little bit of super glue on there we've got our own super glue which is high viscosity works very well for this uh, and then just thread it down on that particular jig head uh, it's got a collar the larger worms uh, they slide over that collar quite nicely uh, but on the smaller ones uh, I suggest that you use either the uh, tapered collar or obviously uh, round ball ones with no collar at all uh, and your first thing you're going to think well that will just slide off but again when you've actually threaded it onto your worm uh, a little bit of super glue it, it grabs very quickly uh, and that provides a nice secure uh, hook and uh, worm combination that uh, you know it will stand a fair amount of pecks and uh, takes from the uh, the fish as they're grabbing the the lure itself hook wise for the uh, the jig heads uh, that's a 570 series eagle claw uh, it's the hbp which is hard wire finished in black platinum uh, and it's a very very strong hook so if you reckon that's the one to consider uh, the 635 series it's a slightly softer wire uh, but one advantage of it if you're going to use that for wrecking um, it will pull out whereas the 570 uh, if that gets jammed in it does tend to stay there so that's a consideration for that one but it is softer 
uh, and you also have to take into account the fact that if you're playing a big fish well the fish can win at times so bear that in mind uh, you've got the ball uh, this is a teardrop uh, design that I do and it comes with a little eye and you can paint that in if you want to okay so that's that's a few examples of the jig heads again if you go to the website you'll see those on the pages with the lures and everything uh, I do recommend uh, and show images of what the lures uh, will take and what I recommend for them now this is the smaller devil tail mold uh, as you can see it's got a little fork tail now I just called it the devil tail uh, but it, it does produce a narrower similar style pattern to the jumbo one uh, but obviously it's smaller in size again you can cut it down if you want cut the body down in sections uh, and the tail itself uh, it's a lovely flexible tail gives a nice action uh, the wider tail just flaps about a little bit more um, and th that proved really successful with the bass uh, when we tested it on the Portland races uh, took some nice fish uh, so that's popular uh, and obviously with um, uh, wrecking and that type of uh, style of fishing wreck or reef uh, pollock have always been uh, susceptible to uh, uh, the worms and, and obviously you can take some good catches with those they are more durable than the, uh, the standard soft jelly worms that you buy so that's another thing when you're making these uh, the mix is uh, stronger you've got the flat surface you've got the round surface so again you've got the two choices which way you fish them good color range the colors that you can create with the uh, the lure colors that uh, we supply in the kits uh, or you can buy separate colors you can create your own colors you can mix the oils so you know it's endless it's just as, as much as your uh, imagination uh, wants to take it down the road of whatever color that you like personally you can create your own exclusive lures very very simple very very easy very very quick to do as well and again you've got the pin in the top there so you can uh, you can actually build in your uh, uh, aperture uh, your whole vent for uh, your hooks uh, so two choices a lot of flexibility built into the system uh, so you can like I say make them cut them down try them two different ways big range of colors and uh, if you go onto the website uh, you'll see all these so it will give you ideas uh, and then you can create your own series right that concludes this video uh, in the next one I'm going to do a mix of uh, some of the lures that uh, some of the lure moles that I make and uh, it will give you some ideas uh, towards like shads uh, minnows um, and some of the larger shed versions that I do so uh, as usual wish you tight lines uh, and I'll see you on the next video